Всем привет! Как у вас дела сегодня? How are you today? Итак, урок номер 11, lesson number 11, out of 365. You will, in one year, you will be able to speak Russian if you follow all my lessons. Итак, давайте начнем урок номер 11. Uh, and uh, as always, I uh, divided the lesson in parts, and the first part is about verbs. Number один. Давайте напишем. Один. It's here we have a verb of the day. Verb. Verb. Глагол. Verb. In Russian, verb is глагол. Verb. Итак, uh, today we are going to learn the verb рассказывать. 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 I advise you to learn all the verbs in pairs. This is imperfective aspect. Рассказывать. Perfective is рассказать. 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 Uh, this is perfective. Perfective. This is imperfective. Imperfective means um, an action that is happening right now in present, every day, every week. Perfective, рассказать, is one-time action, finished or will be finished in the future, an action that has result. Рассказывать, рассказать. Now, um, let's conjugate. Uh, today we're going to talk about imperfective because we are beginners. And we are going to conjugate the verb рассказывать, to tell. Рассказывать means to tell, to narrate, to tell something about something, a story uh, or an um, anecdote, something like that. Рассказывать. Итак, я рассказываю, I'm telling, я рассказываю, Я рассказываю, я рассказываю, ты рассказываешь, ты рас... рассказываешь, ты рассказываешь, this is S, ты рассказываешь, you tell, you, you are telling a story, an anecdote, Ты рассказываешь, and it's imperfective, that means that it's happening right now, in general, or every day, every week. Ты рассказываешь. Uh, он, она, оно рассказывает. Он, она, and оно, he, she, and it. Он, она, оно рассказывает. Рассказы. Нет, рассказывает. Он, она, оно рассказывает. He, she, it tells. Он, она, оно рассказывает. Мы рассказываем. Мы рассказываем. Мы рассказываем. We are telling, we are narrating. Мы рассказываем. Мы рассказываем. Вы, you, plural, plural or formal, вы рассказываете. Вы рассказываете. Вы рассказываете. You tell or you are telling. Вы рассказываете. Вы is plural. You guys, you, or formal. You, a person that you talk with in a formal way. You just met this person. This person is older than you. So, вы рассказываете. Они рассказывают. Они рассказывают. Сказывают. Рассказывают. So, these are the most common endings for conjugation. Рассказываю. You. Uh, ешь. Ед, ем, ете, and ют. Хорошо. So, я рассказываю, ты рассказываешь. 
sorry. Он, она, оно рассказывает, мы рассказываем, вы рассказываете, они рассказывают. They tell. Хорошо. Uh, number two is about nouns. We are going to learn some very common nouns that we need to know at our level. Итак, nouns. Let's begin with the noun глагол. 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 Глагол is a verb. Глагол. A verb. Глагол. Слова. Слова. Слова are words. Singular is слово. And plural is слова. We already learned singular. And now we have слова. Again, O is not stressed here, so we are going to pronounce it as A. Слова. And don't forget about stress. You have to really stress the stress letters. Слова. Слова. Words. Слова are words. Улица. 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 Don't forget to practice with me out loud and try to copy my pronunciation. Улица means um, a street. Улица. Ресторан. Ресторан. Ресторан is a restaurant. Ресторан. Restaurant. Кафе. <coughs> кафе. Кафе is a cafe, of course. Кафе. Детали. Детали. Very similar to the English word. Детали are details. Детали. Е will be pronounced as E, D, because it's not stressed. Детали. Детали are details. Okay, let's continue with adverbs. With adverbs, next part, number three, is about adverbs. In future, I will uh, change these parts a little bit because uh, this course is still... Uh, I don't have um, um, very strong um, rules about this course, so I'm still changing it. Итак, adverbs. Номер три is adverbs. Adverbs. And today's adverbs will be сейчас, 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 е is not stress, so pronounce it as e, sorry, not a, e, сейчас, pronounce it as e, сейчас means right now, сейчас, right now, всегда, всегда, Всегда is always. Всегда. Я not stressed. Pronounce it as E. Всегда. Always. Всегда. Here you can hear that this where I pronounced as F. Всегда. Всегда. Because voiced consonant near unvoiced and S is unvoiced here will become unvoiced too. So V will become F because it is located near S. Всегда is always. Всегда, always. And the last one is часто. Часто. Часто is often, often, часто. Again, this O will be pronounced as A because it's not stressed. Часто, often. Часто. Number four is about adjectives. 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 And let's uh, see what do we have, what adjective are we going to learn today. And it will be Italian in Russian. But if in English it's Italian for any word that you will use with this adjective, in Russian this Italian will be in all the genders and in plural different. Uh, for example, Italianski. Ital Ian-ski. Italian-ski. Извините. Italian-ski. 
Italianski. The ending is E. This is a masculine ending for situations when we have K letter, which does, does not support E after it. So we can use the E ending. E ending is the most common ending for masculine um, adjectives, but we can use it here because K does not support E after it. So it will be Italianski, Italian, and of course it will be followed by a masculine noun because we have an ending E here. And let's write coffee, because coffee in Russian language is masculine. Although it ends in ye and it looks like neuter, it is masculine. Italianski coffee. Italianski coffee. Now feminine. Italianska. Italianskaya. Italianskaya. Aya is the most common ending for feminine. No, uh, adjectives, Italianskaya. And let's um, write a feminine noun here, like tradizia, for example. Tradizia. Tradizia. Italianska tradizia, Italian tradition. Italianska tradizia. Italianska tradizia. Now let's continue with this adjective, but in neuter. Let me check the microphone. Yes, it's on. So, Italianskaya. Italianskaya. So, for neuter nouns, the adjective, the ending of the adjective would be oye. Italianskaya. And it will be followed by a uh, noun in neuter. For example, vino. Vino. Vino ends in O, so that means that this noun is neuter. Italianskaya vino. Italianskaya vino. And the last one will be in plural. Italianskaya. Italianskaya. And again, the ending is IE. And we can't write U here because we have ka which does not support U after it. Italianski, uh, let's say, actori. Actori, actors. Italianski actori. <laughs> Italian actors. Italianski actori. That's all for the adjectives. And number five is some other words that I didn't put, didn't uh, put them in nouns or in adverbs. Other words other words. And today's words will be other words где где means where где where где против 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 here you can hear that this в I pronounce as f против why? Because voiced consonant as V pronounced as unvoiced becomes unvoiced when it's located at the end of the word. Protiv means against. Against. Protiv. Protiv. Against. Sprava. Sprava. Sprava is on the right side. Sprava. On the right side. Справа. Слева. 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 On the left side. Слева. Or прямо. The last word will be прямо. Прямо is straight. Прямо or straight. Прямо. Прямо. Очень хорошо. Давайте продолжим. And the next part, number six, is grammar. Six, number six, grammar. Grammar, a little bit of grammar. Today we are going to talk about мы, we, and we are going to uh, learn how to say our, your in plural, our, um, their, um, no, no, not there. Our, да? It's all about мы. Мы. So, мы. Мы. Is we. 
we in English. Мы. How to say our in Russian? Our in Russian is наш. Наш. Our. Наш. But we have a problem here because наш is in masculine right now. So it can be followed only by masculine nouns. So in Russian language we will have our, our, uh, for all the genders and for plural, our, for all the genders and the plural, they will be different. Uh, Nash is um, masculine, so we can continue with, uh, for example, Nash Gorat, Gorat, our city. Gorat is masculine and then a consonant, so to say our city, you have to use Nash. Because Nash is masculine for our. Our city, Nash Gorat. Now let's continue with feminine, Nasha. Our, but feminine, Nasha. So it can be followed only by feminine nouns. Nasha, our in feminine. Nasha. Например, Nasha страна. Страна, our country. Наша страна, our country. Наша страна, our country. Now, neuter is наше. Наше. This is neuter our. So it will be followed by a neuter noun. And let's say окно. Окно. Окно is window and then о, so it's neuter. Наше окно, our window. Наше окно. And let's finish with plural. In plural it will be наши. Наши, our. And it will be followed by a noun in plural. Наши книги, our books. Наши книги, our books. Наши книги, our books. Наши книги. Очень хорошо. So that was about we, мы, and how to say our in Russian. Our in masculine, наш. Our in feminine, наша. Our in neuter, наше. And our in plural, наши. Очень хорошо. Идем дальше. Uh, number seven is expressions or phrases. Expressions or phrases. Number seven, number seven. And today's expression uh, are, uh, or today's phrases are, are, я знаю, что это неправда. Я, так. Я знаю. Я знаю, we learned it yesterday. Я знаю, I know. Что это, что это неправда. Не прав. Да. Неправда. Я знаю, что это неправда. Я знаю, что это неправда. I know that it's not true. It's false. Я знаю, что это неправда. I know that this is a lie. Я знаю, I know, что это неправда. That this is a lie. Я знаю, что это неправда. Я знаю, что это неправда. Он думает, что она глупая. Он думает, the verb думать, that we learned already. Он думает, он думает, что она, что она глупая. 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 Глупая, an adjective, feminine endings, because we are talking about her, about she. Глупая is silly, stupid. So, он думает, he thinks, что она глупая, that she is stupid. And глупая here is in feminine. It has feminine ending here. У меня есть парень. У меня, у меня есть, есть парень. Парень. У меня есть парень. I have a boyfriend. У меня есть, and we learned this construction. У меня есть, I have парень. У меня есть парень, I have a boyfriend. У меня есть парень, I have a boyfriend. 
у него есть девушка. У, а, у него у него есть девушка. 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 We learned this construction yesterday. У меня есть I have. У него есть he has. У него есть девушка means he has a girlfriend. У него есть девушка. Отлично, молодцы. У него есть девушка. У него есть девушка. He has a girlfriend. А, так, что еще? У нас есть дом. У нас есть дом. Again, same construction that we learned yesterday. We have a house. У нас есть дом. We have a home. We have a house. У нас есть дом. Okay, number eight is about root words. Words with the same root that we are going to learn today. Root words. Number eight, root words. Um, новый. Новый. Новый is new. Here it is in masculine. You can see the most common ending for masculine adjectives. Novy is new. A word with the same root is novost. 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 Novost is a piece of news. Novost. Novost. Дальше. Zanova. Za na va zanava. Here you can see that I pronounce this O and this O as A because they are not stressed. Zanava. Zanava. Zanava means uh, over again, all over again. Zanava again. Or its uh, synonym is snova. Snova. Here O is stressed, so we will not change it. It's O, Snova. Here O is not stressed, so we are going to change it uh, to uh, Snova. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are going to change it to uh, A, да? because it's not stressed. Snova means again as well. Over again, Zanova or Snova. Again. Хорошо. And the last one is a short story. Номер 9. Short story. A short story. And today it will be a dialogue. Sometimes it's a short story. Sometimes it's a dialogue. Итак. Окей. Uh, okay. So, у тебя есть парень? У тебя есть парень? Парень. У тебя есть парень? This construction we learned yesterday. У тебя есть? You have? Or if we have a question here, that means do you have? У тебя есть парень? Do you have a boyfriend? У тебя есть парень? In Russian language, we have just to use our intonation. When it's a question, so it can be a statement. У тебя есть парень? You have a boyfriend. When we have a question mark, we have to use our intonation to show that this is a question. У тебя есть парень? Do you have a boyfriend? У тебя есть парень? Да, у меня есть парень. Да, yes, у меня, у меня есть парень. Парень. Да, у меня есть парень. Yes, I have a boyfriend. А у тебя есть девушка? А у тебя? А у тебя есть есть девушка? Девушка. Девушка. А у тебя есть девушка? And what about you? Do you have a girlfriend? А у тебя есть девушка? And do you have a girlfriend? А у тебя есть девушка? And the answer will be Да, у меня есть девушка. Да, у меня у меня есть 
девушка. 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 Да, у меня есть девушка. Yes, I have a girlfriend. Да, у меня есть девушка. Yes, I have a girlfriend. Let's continue. And you can see here that you already can ask questions and you already can answer. So you already can speak Russian. The next question will be uh, у тебя um, так, так, так. У тебя есть дети? У тебя есть дети? У тебя есть дети? <coughs> Sorry. У тебя есть дети? Do you have kids? У тебя есть дети? Do you have kids? Да, у меня есть сын. Да, у меня есть сын. Да, у меня есть сын. Yes, I have a son. Да, у меня есть сын. Yes, I have a son. А у тебя есть дети? А у тебя есть дети? Дети. А у тебя есть дети? And what about you? Do you have kids? А у тебя есть дети? А у тебя есть дети? Да, у меня есть дочь. Да, у меня, у меня есть дочь. Дочь. Да, у меня есть дочь. Yes, I have a daughter. Она очень красивая и умная. Она очень Красивая, красивая, красивая и умная, умная, умная. Она очень красивая и умная. She is very beautiful and smart. Красивая, adjective, the ending is aya. Because she's talking about her daughter, and daughter is feminine. So, красивая will be an adjective, a feminine adjective, and in the aya, красивая. And the same with умная, smart, um, an adjective, a feminine adjective as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, хорошо. Uh, and then, um, another phrase is, а мой... Uh -huh. Мой сын тоже умный, но ленивый. Мой сын тоже, тоже умный, умный, тоже умный. Мой сын тоже умный, но, но ленивый. Ленивый. Вы, но ленивый. Мой сын тоже умный, но ленивый. Now he is talking about his son, and his son is masculine, right? So умный, smart. Here we had умная, a feminine ending because she was talking about her daughter. Now he was he is talking about his son, and of course we will use и ending. Умный, ленивый. <coughs> Sorry, извините. Ленивый is lazy. Ленивый and the ending is masculine as well. Умный, ленивый. Мой сын тоже умный. My son is smart as well. Но ленивый, but lazy. Но is but тоже as well, too. Да? Okay, let's read it one more time and we are done. У тебя есть дети? Do you have kids? Да, у меня есть сын. Yes, I have a son. А у тебя есть дети? And do you have children? Да, у меня есть дочь. Yes, I have a daughter. Она очень красивая и умная. 
She is really beautiful and smart. Мой сын тоже умный, но ленивый. My son is smart too, but he's lazy. But lazy, но ленивый. That's all for this lesson.